guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is sino vuyo for those of you who have watched my previous videos or who have subscribed thank you so much for your support i really do appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos so today i'm gonna do a get ready with me um plus uh life update i actually saw kay Yams did one and she said something that i really liked and she was saying that it's nice to look back maybe in a year or six months time or whatnot look at but look back at the stuff that you were saying or that you wanted to achieve um and see how far you've gone versus you know the previous six 12 months and i thought there was something that that was really cool and i want to try it out obviously i do well not obviously <laughs> but um i do write down some goals but since i'm starting this journey i might as well put it on video um it will be nice to see my life and how it changes in the next year or two so my brows are already done I mean, I didn't really do them, but uh, they are microbladed and I just went and got them threaded a few days ago. So I'm not really going to worry about eyebrows. I'm actually so bad when it comes to eyebrows. And that's why I decided. And that's why I decided to just get them microbladed because I actually really did not have eyebrows at all. So having them microbladed um, and threaded really helps so i don't need to focus so much on eyebrows i'm actually not even going to do anything to them i'm just going to brush them up last week i tried this thing of brushing them up with uh what is it a gel you guys please look here the lady who threaded my eyebrows i've got a scar sort of What was I even saying? I lost my train, my my train of thought, but it's fine. So, to be honest, it is, it hasn't been a good time um, in terms of my mental health. I was in Belgium. Um, I think I've said this before. I was with my boyfriend for three months, and prior to that, I was with my cousin. Mm, maybe I should put on the. What do you call this uh eyeshadow base i was with my cousin so i haven't been alone in a long time and then i came back first week of jan and i've literally been alone ever since it's nice to stay alone when you are interacting with people on a day-to-day -day basis for example normally like i'll go to work and interact with colleagues my friends weekend like do things but now i'm by myself 90 pieces 90 percent of the time i've joined a running club which has helped because i do get to interact a little with people but still it's like literally not the same because most of the time you are alone i feel like it's not natural to just be by yourself all the time it has really been depressing over the last few weeks for me and that's why i'm actually going home to visit my family visit my mom I haven't seen her in a while maybe i should have gone home immediately after coming back but i thought oh it's nice i need some space because i've been with people so it will be like a nice time just chilling by myself but it actually hasn't been so I'm gonna go home for a week or two. I'll see how it goes. If there's drama, I'm out of there. <laughs> my mom actually watches my vid my YouTube videos, so <sighs> hopefully she does not say anything. She knows the situation. <laughs> so I actually thought I would be in Belgium permanently by now my plans were to always well my plans were to move to belgium august 20 I'm trying to clean my mirror um my plans were to move to belgium around 2020 around august september um because my boyfriend is in belgium 
and we had said we had agreed that i will move and it's going to be the best solution for now and we'll see if we want to move to south africa at some point and initially we we're like oh okay let's do this whole school thing i'll just do an mba and whatnot but that didn't work out and then COVID hit as well i'm actually glad it didn't work out because i'm not really into school i didn't really enjoy it when i was in varsity of course i did it um i'm actually using hermosa floor the glow gang palette i really love this palette so anyways i was glad it didn't work out because i'm not really a school person i didn't enjoy school as much i enjoy the social aspect of it but school itself wasn't you know my cup of tea and with an mba you literally have to do finance you have to do ecos you have to do math and stats if it was just marketing it wouldn't be it wouldn't have been so bad because marketing is fun and that's what that's the industry i'm in so i don't think it would have been a big deal but they actually the school that i wanted to go to because i was like i'm not gonna go to a school that's ranked lower than uct which is where i went um for my undergrad and i was like no the only two the only two schools that i'd want to go to in belgium that do offer english the one was um KU Leuven or Leuven and then the other one was Ghent if I'm not mistaken but Ghent was like or Ghent I don't know how they pronounce it it was super expensive so it was out of the question KU Leuven was actually fine it was affordable but they didn't accept me but I was like and I, when this, they sent me that email I was like ha I was very upset because you know it's that rejection thing and I didn't understand why they would reject me because I'm like surely you guys have an allocation for african students don't all universities do that and i'm from the best university in africa surely like i mean really but they didn't i was so sad and then i was like actually i'm just sad because they didn't accept me not because of the degree so I was like ah whatever let me just get over it i didn't realize this would have such a brown i mean a, a, reddish undertone so i'm going to try to bend it out with contour it which is more browner so yeah so that didn't work out and we we're like okay fine doesn't matter um i'm just gonna move in march it was a plan guys but because i stayed in belgium for three months i can't go back for i can't go back for another six months so how it works when you apply for schengen visa is you get your visa and then they always say you can only stay in the schengen area for 90 days within a 180 day period so let's say in my example i stayed for 90 days literally maybe 88 or something but it was 90 days so now i have to wait for another 180 days because i already stayed 190 days within that initial 180 day period so on my last day we had to count another 180 days well, i think that's how it works maybe i should go and ask like the embassy how soon i can go so if i hadn't stayed for that long i would have moved honestly in march but now i have to wait that six months so july is probably the earliest i can go i hope i'll be able to go because christoph's mom wants to christoph's my boyfriend she wants to do a um family holiday in spain so in july august so i hope i'll be there for that and i'll be able to travel um and in belgium it's actually so easy to get a visa um a if you're dating someone from there you don't even have to do any language tests or anything you just apply for a cohabitation visa and you have to prove that your relationship is solid i don't know why i'm going for such a dark eye yeah you have to be dating for about two years um have spent 45 days in each other's presence in that 45 days or within a year period i'm not sure 
but it's nothing hectic um and my boyfriend and i are definitely gonna meet those requirements it won't be hard but the only thing is you have to apply once you are there you can apply from your country so i need to go with a tourist visa and then once i'm there only then can i apply so i'm really hoping that i'll be able to because honestly i feel like my life is in limbo because we had this plan and i was like oh i only need to be working i want to like an orange vibe i don't know i want so anyways as i was saying um i thought okay i'll only be working for the next this was december now thought i'm gonna be working for another two three months and then i'm gonna resign and then we'll go but now it's like six months i have to be working and i'm so over it because my plan actually was to just take a three month break well it's not like i can uh work anyways while they're sorting out my cohabitation visa you can't work there um until they make you legal obviously so i was looking forward to that because i do need a, a break from corporate i do love being in marketing and whatnot but i've been working since i left university so 2015 i started working it's 2021 now and obviously i'm going to be working unless somehow suddenly i like get a lot of money or i win the lotto i'll have to be working so i really wanted to take that break and i still want to as soon as i am able to leave that's what i'm gonna do because this cannot be my life forever i should have taken a gap here actually i had really wanted to when I was in my last year of university but I was just so scared that I was gonna get left behind like why would I be scared of being left behind that's so ridiculous now that I think about it I would have had a year where I was exploring because I had wanted to either like teach English or be an air hostess I don't even know if I'm tall enough for that but that's what I wanted to do and I let fear hold me back and it's something that I really regret I think if I had to count my regrets in life definitely that was one of them um because i could have experienced so much if i had just not been scared but it's fine because i can still explore it's something that i want to do i should have put on more base because normally i don't need to put so much product that's fine it's difficult to concentrate on the makeup and still do like this video i'm going to use this epic incliner from uh, nyx to do my eyeliner so i finish up the eyeshadow and lashes off screen honestly with lashes with me it's always touch and go because sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like today i don't understand they look like they come from two different sets but it's actually one like yeah so as i was saying the one thing that i want to happen this year is to move to belgium so i can be with my boyfriend so we can start our life yeah our life together asap i feel like i'm missing so much each other's lives by not being together it's really difficult i don't know if you've been in a long distance relationship how it's working out for you i mean mine is great apart from the whole thing of not being together i will make it work i'm just knowing that as an end in sight really helps we've been together for more than two years now always long distance imagine uh, so yeah been priority this year move and then the other thing that i want to do this year is obviously focus on my body I've spoken about it in my previous video so i'm not gonna go into it but i really did get a lot of weight which is like ridiculous i gain weight so quickly it's like i smell food and all the calories pile up on me 
I'm just not blessed in that metabolism department. It's so irritating, actually. So yeah, one move to work on my body goals. Three. Three is just like to focus and reciprocate energies where I'm getting them. I feel like I have quite a few friends actually. I've always had like a small circle of close friends. But I do think that some of my friendships, I'm the one who's always checking up, texting, trying to call, making sure people are like good. And I need that energy reciprocated. Otherwise, like, what is the point? Is that even friendship? And I understand a lot of people are always like, no, we're adults now. We don't have to talk every day. Yeah, we don't have to talk every day. But like, if you can see something's wrong or just in jail, when I you never think to be like, oh, okay, let me just check in on this girl every once in a while. Like, and as man, I'm just tired of being the one who's always like checking in on people so i'm done with that but i have to say lockdown has made me so much closer to some of my other friends than i have been in the past and i'm really grateful for that like i've built such strong strong friendships with them um over this period we've always been quite close we spoke quite a bit regularly but during lockdown i was just like wow when I get married, I want those girls to be my bridesmaids. <laughs> because I just love them so much. Shout out to you guys. You know who you are. <laughs> and then the last thing that I really want to do. Ooh. I don't really use um what do you call this i don't really use primer because my skin is fine for now but generally this is the primer that i use smashbox i really do enjoy them i'm using fit me now i used to always use like mac and then i got into estee lauder like why must i spend so much on makeup i mean really it's not like i wear makeup all the time so why must i waste so much money i'm done with that i didn't mention this but it's also one of my things like i make better financial decisions and i don't want to spend money on stupid shit like makeup it's not stupid obviously but like i'm not the michelis of the world i don't care that much i'm not like a enthusiast yes i want to have nice makeup but i want affordable makeup now it does the same job i feel like this is not that much different to when i was using mac i'm really enjoying it um it's in the shade 356 i don't know if it has a name but it's, oh it's warm coconut um it's really good it probably doesn't last as long as mac my make foundation would literally last me a year but then again i never used to wear makeup that much i found myself last year wanting to buy all this palettes i'm like what the fuck am i and i was like what the hell am i doing because i always go for the same sort of look like yes now that i've got this glow gang palette i actually do make an effort and i put some color on my eyes but i like the natural vibe i don't even know how to do a smoky eye imagine like no guys i can't be spending so much money on makeup i'm gonna blend my foundation off camera because i need to look closer to the mirror to do it so yeah guys that's where i'm at with life and those are the things i want to achieve uh the other thing i want to do this year actually is to get braces because i've been wanting to get them for so long because i don't like the gaps between my teeth and i feel like it's something i can definitely change so why not i also want to do like a whitening 
my friend is a dentist and she always says that actually the le if your teeth are a little bit yellow it means they're healthy and you shouldn't actually whiten but sometimes it's the aesthetic that matters <laughs> It's such a bad thing to say, but honestly, I really don't get my teeth whitened because they're very yellow, off white, whatever. Mm. Not a fan. But yeah, right now, I'm really not in the best of spaces. It's been really hard being by myself, but it's something that I am working on, and I'm hoping that. I'm gonna stop feeling like this sooner rather than later. I'm doing affirmations, well, not all the time, but it is a start. Um, I have neglected my gratitude journal, so I'm gonna go back to that. And uh, I'm running and doing cycling at least three times a week, three to four times a week. So that should help with my mental health and then from a work point of view i'm in a certain role or when i got hired i was hired to do a certain role but now the way that my department is set up and we definitely we're doing completely different work and initially i was like oh it's a good learning opportunity and whatnot but for me now it's a i'm not enjoying this as much yes i feel like i'm learning a lot and it's a good thing but i want to do stuff that i enjoy because i also think that when you do stuff that you like you go out of your way you're more passionate um you just do a better job and now because i'm so over it um and not as interested in it um i don't think i'm like performing to the best of my ability so there's that when it comes to work there's that and then there's the fact that you know i wanted to take a break i was looking forward to taking like a three month a break so everything is just like ugh, it's making me annoyed and i don't like being like that i like enjoying the work that i'm doing but right now i'm not even gonna lie it's got its days And I guess it's just like being honest with myself. Ugh. I mean, my towels has all those white stains. Ooh, my friends are supposed to be picking, my, picking me up at quarter past 11. It's 11 minutes past 11. Oh my God, I'm late. Let me see if they've texted me. I still have to get dressed and I still need to do my hair. And they always early those girls. I'm so screwed. Okay, I'm not really going to contour. I should really use a bigger, bigger brush. I'm not gonna contour. I'm just going to put blush and highlighter and put on my dress. Okay, so I just checked on WhatsApp. And Kumil actually said she'll come pick me up around quarter past 11 and 11.30. It's 12 minutes past 11 now, so I'm definitely not going to make 11.15 time. So I just asked her to pick me up at 11.30. Hopefully it's not an issue, but it does mean I am going to rush through everything now. What was I even saying? <laughs> But yeah, not in the best of places this year or right now, actually. I'm hoping we will go back to the office soon because this thing of not seeing people is not my cup of tea. But I understand if other people don't want to come to the office. Like I have a friend who's just like, she's not going anywhere. And it's fair. I feel like you can't see this blush. Oh, I'm not putting too much on. <laughs> I'm hoping uh, I'm going to be in a much better space when I go home, when I come back from home. 
life is about trying guys like you're not gonna be 100 percent all the time so it's just how you deal with those moments of anxiety and being low 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 i think we put too much pressure on ourselves to always be okay and to always be happy but it's not realistic shame to think you're always going to be happy and it's not even to say they're okay you're not grateful or you're not whatever but we are living in the middle of a pandemic and we have to be kind to ourselves otherwise you'll be feeling the way you're feeling and you're putting too much pressure on yourself to be feeling better because you know everything else is going right in your life blah blah you feel bad for not feeling happy and i think for the longest time that's how i've always been like if i'm not happy i'm just like why am i not because i've got a good life but sometimes it's okay not to be it's okay to be lonely and that's like the mindset that i'm getting myself into sometimes you just have to feel the emotions and let them pass and that's what i want to do okay i'm going to show you guys my outfit i'm going to put lipstick on you'll see the full look but i really need to hurry up now so i also need to put gel on my hair i um, shouldn't take that long i do need to wash my hands it's so dirty but look at my cute um, nails love them so much tell me what's going on in your lives you guys if you want to let me know um if you enjoyed this video in the comments down below friends are actually here they got here maybe eight minutes ago um but i had told them that i'm only gonna be ready at half past it is 11 32 now so i am like two minutes late but i'm going down but this is my final look what do you guys think i feel so cute and i smell so good i really love that elisa perfume um yeah guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next one Bye.